Getting a job in a game studio has two components to it. The first one is applying for the job and the second one is getting on the interview. But prior to getting to an interview, when you apply to a job, you need to have a good portfolio and a good resume. And this is what needs to convince the game studio, the recruiters or hiring managers, whoever is looking at your portfolio, that you are the candidate who should get on the interview. Now, if you, like the majority of game developers, have been rejected when you applied for a job, because that happens to the majority of game developers, that means I Either your resume or your portfolio is not good. So some of the mistakes people make in their resume is they overcomplicate it, they over explain it, they over put things that they don't need to put. Just introduce yourself, who you are, write briefly about your skills. And this is one other thing that I see a lot of developer, developers make a mistake with, that is they put too many skills. Even if you know 30 programming languages and you know 50 engines and you created 3000 of your own engines, do not put that on your resume because that will look suspicious. Imagine you are hiring for a candidate and you look at the resume and like, oh, this guy knows everything. That guy doesn't exist. So the goal is to impress them or to convince them to get you to the interview. And on the interview, you can say these things. So don't overput or don't put a lot of things in your resume. This is one of the things, of course, I'm going to dive in every single aspect. We do that inside Game Dev Pro with my students, but we're not going to do it here for you know every single thing. The next thing that I see a lot of game developers make a mistake is when it comes to their portfolio is that they need to tailor their portfolio and their resume along with that to the job description they're applying to. What does that mean? That means that you should not have a generic portfolio like most game developers do. Most game developers have one portfolio that just write down, okay, here is my project, here is this, I have this resume, and that's it. And for every single job they apply to, they just send that one generic portfolio. Here you go, here you go, here you go. And what they fail to miss is when you're applying for a job, and of course I'm talking about gameplay programmers or game programmers, people who are going to code whatever part of the game, but this applies to any job in the game dev industry and also in the software industry, because what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at the job you're applying to. For example, they're searching for an AI programmer. So you're going to program enemy AI in the game. Tailor your resume to showcase things you did with AI, what you did with enemy AI, what you did with boss fights, what you did with whatever in any game you worked on, be that your own freelance or you worked in another game studio, make sure that you put and tailor that towards the job application because when they are looking for a specific person and they, okay, let's take a look at this resume. Oh, this person has done exactly what we need. We need this, that, and that, and so on and so forth. So these are the things that will increase your chances. Well, just a few things that will increase your chances of getting hired in a game studio because I'm a good person. I'm going to throw one more. When you put your projects, don't overdo it. I see people putting like three projects, 10 projects on their portfolio. While that is a good thing, you worked on 10 games, especially if you work them in another studio. The truth is nobody is going to take a look at all of those games. Game dev recruiters, game dev hiring managers, they don't have time to go through your 10 games because they have other candidates who are applying for the job. So you need to make the best out of the short time you have. The best thing you can do is have a short video that is going to showcase the best part of your best game. You can have one, two games, no problem, but showcase the best part of them in like a 30 second to 45 second video on YouTube. Put the most important things, the most spectacular moments of your game. And this is what will catch their attention because again, this is where most developers fail. They think that their portfolio or resume is going to get them to a job right away. No, the goal of that is to get you to the interview. And these things that we mentioned are going to help you get on the interview. And then on the interview, you are going to go through the tests, go through the questions they have and so on and so forth. I'm going to cover that in another video coming after this one probably. But yeah, this is how you will increase your chances of getting on the job interview from where then you need to basically sell yourself and then you get hired in a game studio.